did you do with the pain of the heartbreak? I did the same thing I do if my heart wasn't broken. I got up, I went in the gym, I lifted a bunch of weights, I got in my fast car, I drove down the road looking sexy as fuck, bought a Starbucks, and made some money. It doesn't matter. How I feel has no bearing on how I live my life. What do you do with that emotional pain? Is it pain? Isn't it? I don't know, man. Because I know pain. I'm talking real pain. Physical pain. Uh, yeah, but physical pain. If you, well, look, people have this idea that emotional pain is worse. They ain't never had a knife stuck in their skin. They, they, I know pain. They never had their face broken. I know pain. Like real pain. Uh, everyone can imagine being sick. That's pain. You're sick. Like really sick. It's very tough. You know when you're in bed and you really feel like on the verge of death. And that's like the worst experience ever. I don't fear emotional pain. Even if in the worst possible scenario my brother died, it's the worst thing that could possibly happen. I'm still gonna get up, go to the gym, lift weights, drive my cars. I'm still because that's just all you can do is progress. I, I don't see I don't I don't think this I don't think emotional pain is direct. It doesn't need direct attention. I don't believe it does. I believe it needs to be ignored and it will go away. You don't think people need time to mourn? Like when your father died, did you need time to mourn? Absolutely, you can mourn. You can mourn while you lift those weights, while you drive that car, and while you buy that coffee. Like, uh, so when my father, I'll give you an example. When my father died, I just moved to Romania. I, I had just started my, I had my webcam company, I moved here, I had six girls in me. I spent all my money moving all my stuff out of moving and setting up the house. When my dad died, I had two choices. I said, well, I fly back to the future. And my dad was my hero. My relationship with my dad is much closer than most people have had. It's not like we had a distant relationship. He was my hero in every regard. Do I fly to a studio? Or, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to blow all my money. I'm going to be away for weeks. These girls are new. They're going to vanish. They're in Romania on their own. They don't know anyone here. They're going to want to go home. Da, 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 da. Or do I suck it up and focus on my business? And I've got my mom to provide for. Me and Tristan have started this company. We spent all our money. And I missed my dad's funeral to run my business. And even my sister messaged me. That you're so insensitive. Da, da, da. I said, look, I'm my father's son. If he was alive, he'd slap me in the mouth for fucking up my income for, for, the, for the whole family. For fucking up my chance of building a legacy for this family and, let, and making sure mom never has to work again to go fuck to a fuck. I can mourn from here. It's a very rational decision. And I could end the day he died. Found out at 1 p.m., 5 p.m. I'm commenting on live TV. The next day, I'm one of my webcams. Was I devastated? Absolutely. But what did I do? Same shit would have done. Things alive. First things first is that going through a breakup sucks. And every single man out here, no matter what they say, understands how bad it is to go through a breakup and understands what heartbreak's like. It's difficult. It's not easy. I'd actually like to argue that men feel more heartbroken than women. I think that's right. I think it's true. And I think it's because one of the possessive elements that we have, the idea of the idea of her being with someone else hurts more than the idea of you being with someone else to her. And secondly, because you have a lot less options than she has instantly. So I think that breakups are worse for men than they are for women. And I understand how difficult and hard they can be. However, unfortunately, the unfortunate reality is that chasing her and, and, and being dedicated to her and saying you're going to do whatever she wants, etc., is very unlikely to work. It's very unlikely to work. And you have to look at the scenario you're in, look at the chessboard and make the best possible move. When you're heartbroken, you true, when you're truly heartbroken, you can't even sleep. And your mind is constantly preoccupied. And instead of seeing that as a negative, what you need to do is use that as a source of unlimited power. If I was truly heartbroken today, let's imagine, and I could barely sleep, I'd be in better shape than I've ever been. I'd train like a fucking animal. You have to just take the energy inside of you. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be converted. Whether it's heat into light or uh, the momentum into friction or whatever, whatever you, however you want to put it, right? Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. And you have to look at that and understand that the sadness inside of you is energy. You can't destroy it, but you can convert it into something else which is constructive. And you just have to suck it up by a cup and get over it. And there's no other way to do it. And obviously having an abundance of women makes that easier. But I wouldn't even put it that way. I'd say if you were with a woman and you lost her and you're now lonely and she's going to be moving on and you're absolutely not be heartbroken and you're destroyed inside, I understand how difficult that is. But now you have genuine sadness inside of you, which is unlimited motivation for you to become a fucking beast, become an animal. And by the time you're finished becoming an animal, you won't care anymore. 
So if you really want to cure yourself, you can just say, I'm going to get a six pack and I'm going to get bigger arms. And by the time my arms are this size and I have a six pack, then I'm going to think about that bitch. And you'll realize you don't give a shit about her anymore. That's just the way the world works. Man. When I was 20, me and my girlfriend broke up. I was with her for four years. I, I, I couldn't sleep. I could, and this is before social media. You couldn't just chase a bitch. Like, you, that was it. She's gone now. Like, she moved. I didn't know where she lived. That was it. And I couldn't sleep. Now, I, it wasn't like I was crying my eyes out, but I was just, where's my, my hoe at? I couldn't sleep. Need something else to do. Need something else to do. So I thought, fuck, I'll hit the gym at 6 a.m., hit the gym at 3 p.m., hit the gym at 8 p.m. I had nothing else to do but fight. So I took all that trauma, all that heartbreak, and I molded it into becoming a world level combatant, right? So there's not. What did we talk earlier about? How trauma can mold you. Trauma can be a fantastic thing. Heartbreak, depression, sadness. These are all fantastic motivators. You're just. I'm telling you why they're a fantastic motivator. You go to a guy who's heartbroken. He has all the motivation in the world. So he's a great person. He has the motivation. He's putting it in the wrong place. That's 300 cold emails you could be that, sending yes, to someone. That's a business. lot of money you could have made. Yeah. I'll tell you right now. Some of the, the greatest accomplishments in my life have come after a heartbreak. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, Absolutely. it's, it's that fuck, I call it fuck you energy. Yeah. No. You take that and you're like, I, I, cause some guys will get butt hurt about that and they'll sit there and they'll wallow in self pity. Mm. I've always thought the correct application of that energy is okay. Prove that she made a shitty mistake. Mm -hmm. Go out and become a fucking millionaire. Go out and become a sick mm -hmm. Whatever. Yeah. Go out and build still building, right? And then she's going to look around when she's 50 pounds heavier in the year's time. Like, mother, I let him, I let him go. Yeah. And, you can, and, and internally, the, uh, we have my to. ego could be like, yeah. I got you. Well, yeah. life, life's <laughs> life's going to hurt you. And how you use that pain is completely not real. You could use that pain to galvanize yourself. And the better man you go then. I'm not saying that I'm only successful because of some shit. I'm saying that every single time the eye is heartbroken, I never waste it. I never wallow it. Especially as a young man. Yeah. We talked we talked about this on the show. You're gonna get your heart broken as a young man. I've had it happen to me. We've all had it happen to us. But, and, and it's not even about anger towards your girl. It's seven years later, because as a man, you're gonna get your value later. Yes. Right? So if you use that energy to put all that work in, these girls, they come back around and I love to see them come back. Oh. Not because I'm in love again. Just because it's like yeah. You know, I told like, yeah. you yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I said this like anybody who tries to get revenge on a woman, oh, on wrong a woman, way. it's a you're an, that's incel energy. That's yeah. that's a wrong way of looking at it. The only revenge you can get on a woman who breaks your heart is success. Success is the best revenge. Just level up slowly. And when she messages you, you got two choices. You can either say, Sorry, baby, you're not my type anymore. Boom, you win. Or you could fuck her again. One last spin on the Ferris wheel. Yeehaw. Yeah. So. <laughs> So that's the answer to the question. Put, put a plan together for the heartbreak if it comes and make sure that plan is constructive. Yeah. Everything we've been saying on this podcast is true. Trauma's going to come, pain's going to come. You have to use it in a constructive way. I'm not telling you to tell him to avoid it. I'm saying that when it comes, make sure it's used in a constructive way. And still to this day, that's all I would have. If, if something bad happened to me and I got really upset, I would find the most constructive possible outcome. Yep. That's a conscious decision. You have to have the emotional control to make a conscious decision. lost women who I didn't want to lose, but I let them go. I didn't beg for them back. I didn't cry about it. I just let them leave. I handled it like a man. And the truth is, as a man, a woman doesn't even have to like you. She doesn't even have to love you. But if she respects you, she's always going to be around. And this is why if I love a woman, all my heart and she goes I want to leave the first thing I'm going to say is fucking bad because if I say anything else she's not going to respect me oh please stay I was like look I don't want you to leave I would like you to stay but you're going to talk shit and threaten me and get the fuck out of my house like I've, I've had women leave me but there's never I've never had a woman not respect me and that's why I can hit up any ex I've ever had and I know that they respect me on a base level. So why do they respect me? Because I respect myself. So I will never sacrifice my self-respect. Check the description down below to enter a free giveaway and claim some free gifts.
If you want to make money with YouTube, then also check the description. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next.